Israel takes his mission of peace this Easter to the violence-torn Middle East. Authorities in Darby say what may have started as a burglary here at a plumbing supply is now turned into a three-quarter of a million dollar arson fire. I'm Bob Siegel with the story next. Day comes to an end. Secretary of State George Shultz is beginning his third peace mission in the Middle East. His visit begins against a backdrop of escalating violence in Israel. Pennsylvania, this is certainly no holiday weekend. They were forced out of their homes by a fire and explosion. And as Bob Siegel reports, investigators believe the fire was started to cover up a burglary. Investigators say the cause of the fire appears to be arson. With damage estimated at three-quarters of a million dollars, this fire is one of the worst in Darby history. Darby's fire chief says at 4.30 in the morning, the whole block seemed on fire. It was a miracle. It was a miracle at 4.30 in the morning that we got everybody out without one injury. As neighbors looked on in shock, some of the apartment tenants tried describing their efforts to escape. Horror. Just horror. Just wanted to get out faster. Arson investigators say the fire began in the back of Janus Plumbing Supply and later spread to two adjacent businesses and an apartment building. Uh, apparently, whoever intended to rob the, or burglarize the building uh, started a fire inside to cover up the burglary. We looked out our window and saw all the flames and the smoke. We ran around, knocked on all the doors, tried to get everybody out. Everybody got out. About 15 minutes after firefighters arrived here, there were a series of explosions in the back of the plumbing supply. First propane tanks, then a kerosene oil tank blew, and then the fire jumped from this building to the apartment building and shoe store next door. Harris Plotnick is picking through what's left of Darby Shoe Store. His father opened it back in 1929. I just feel relieved that nobody got hurt in this, you know, catastrophe. Milton Magnus, who owns the plumbing supply, was burned out in 1971 when he operated a similar store in Collingdale. He reopened here 15 years ago. Once in a lifetime is too much. This is really unbelievable. Well, we all could have died, you know, but I'm not worried about it. I'm alive. In the end, it took 250 firefighters from 11 fire departments to put out this fire. Rescue workers were amazed to hear everyone who lived inside the apartment building had been able to escape in spite of the flames and smoke. Bob Siegel, Channel 10 News Update, Darby. So far, Darby police tell us they've questioned three people in connection with today's fire.